It's D-Day for our teams. It's the final challenge of their heat. And one of them will sink and leave the show, and the other will swim on. Yes! This is Challenge SOS, where schools from Cape Town and the surrounds are competing in extreme, hectic outdoor challenges where points are earned and where dreams come true. In a series of hectic elimination rounds, our teams are faced with a variety of obstacles on their journey. But such is life. With each obstacle you conquer, you become stronger, faster and smarter. So remember that when you're faced with challenges in life, just know that you can do it! Incredible challenges have left a lasting impact on our teams and boosted their self-confidence. The ervaring of this competition has been very good. I learned a lot of fun work. I learned teamwork and listening to one another. Not only thinking about yourself, that teamwork is about every single person in the group. I think I'll be a better leader now from this experience. And that's the last um, challenge, as I so can say. And yeah, I can't wait here. We're going to see what we're going to do, but I think we're going to do good. Our challenge of good today was we have confidence and we, we are good at teamwork and we are the real road quite back. The other challenges was, so, was not so good. The surfing and the raft building it wasn't so good. So that today, I put a lot of effort into that. I can't be so good quite back right now, but I'm going to best to try. The other team, they not as we expected they to be, they tough, really tough. They might have a good chance because they are very competitive and they are a challenge for us, so we just have to just keep it and work with you. Well, we're obviously going to annihilate again, as usual. Behind me is the hardware, the radical machines that will ultimately contribute to the miracle or misery of our team. They're competing for the glorious and victorious title of the unsinkable outdoor class of 2011. It's been a crazy, radical, wild ride for our teams and today, the team that walks away with the most overall points for the four challenges will go through to the semi-finals and the team with the least points overall will go home. After three extreme and hectic challenges, the question still remains. Who's going to sink and who's going to swim? Let's see what those quads and segways will bring today. It may change everything. Hey guys! Hey. So Team Lewatle, your name means ocean in Sibeli and you coming all the way from Monte Vista Primary. Is there anything that you'd like to tell Team Entaba, meaning mountain in Zulu, from Montague Primary? All I want to say is good luck because you guys definitely need it. Well, good, luck. good luck, we have our own. Show we Things are intense here on Challenge SOS. So far, you guys have faced each other in a very cool camp cook-off. Then you bravely braced the reeds in a raft building challenge. And then you all, one way or the other, conquered the mighty ocean on a board. So far, Team Lewatle is leading with 140 obvious points. And Team Ntaba, you are trailing behind with zero obvious points. We still don't know who the winners are because there are those secret points which were awarded by our judges and which will be revealed to you at the end of today's challenge. The final clash for this heat. 
I know that you guys at home also want to join in the fun, so check in at sostv.co.za where you can suss out all the info about where we are and some of the extreme challenges that we get up to here in Elgin, Prabo and the surrounding areas. You can also chat to me and all your favorite teams on Facebook or Twitter. Gotta love it! So are you guys ready to ride like there's no tomorrow? Yes! That's right, someone's going to swim and someone's going to sink. Ouch! Here we are at the gog smackingly gorgeous area of Algin in Krabo near Cape Town. And this is the final challenge in the heat between our two teams, Lewatle from Monte Vista and Team Entaba from Montague Drive Primary. In a series of elimination heats for the title of the unsinkable outdoor class of 2011, one of our two awesome teams will have to depart and claim the name as sinkers. And the other team will qualify, swimming all the way through to the semi-finals. How cool is that? You get to do all of that out here with your mates. Obviously, riding those segways is not a regular thing for our teams. So we arranged for some expert tutorial and practice on those mean machines. All right, guys, come over here. We do the safety. Right, so our teams got briefed on the segways and now they're about to get a safety briefing on the quad bikes too. Yes, guys, safety first. And that includes nature. We can't just hoy things around and destroy our environment as we please. No, it's important that we keep it safe and also looking beautiful. And that's why our teams are getting briefed by Brian and Joseph from Nature Discovery on the hows and the how not tos for the sake of man, machine and mother nature. We've got everything it takes to get these crazy teams safely across the finish line and I for one cannot wait to see these crazy machines in action. Guys, it's going to be epic! Hey guys, what's up? Hey! <laughs> Alright, so guys, this battle of the bikes is worth a full 100 points, okay? The first team to cross the finish line takes those home. Okay, first down here, like. All right, we're going to use segways and quad bikes for every alternate leg of the race. We stand here, yeah. yeah. So are you guys ready? Yes! Wait, I first have to brief you. The first thing you do is you hop onto a segway and you follow the track. You complete the track that way, take off your helmet and hand it to the next team member who then hop onto a quad bike. So then that team member on the quad bike will have to follow this course, go down that hill, weave through the slalom poles, dash through the reed tunnel, then they'll go on to the second hill, make a turn through the flags, and then dash through to the cattle rails, and then go on to the seesaw. Come down the hill and park the quad. Then there, the team member will have to hop off the quad bike, hand over the helmet to the next team member, who will complete the same course on a Segway. And then when the team member comes back on the Segway, they'll have to hand over their helmet to the fourth team member, who then hop onto the quad bike and finish off the race. Remembering that the first team to cross gets 100 points. You with me? Yes. Cool. All right, guys, so I'm going to leave you to your quad bike training. It's getting a bit chilly with the wind, so I'm out of here. All right, have okay. fun, guys. Okay. Bye. Your quad biking and Segway race is about to begin. So let me remind you guys, this is the final challenge for your heat. Team Lewatli, are you ready? Yes! Team Endeavour, are you ready? Yes! Ready, steady, sink or swim! Yes. And they are off. First, like, Ick went on the, this Segway. And he got us a very good lead, actually. It seems Laik from Team Indaba got the hang of the segways quickly and is in the lead. Oh, Laik! Dion is struggling a bit on the segway. I guess that strong wind does not make things easier. Dion got to a slow start and he had problems with the segway. So um, Laik got the lead. 
know you guys are in the lead, how does it feel? Nice. Was that cool? Did you enjoy it? Yes. Okay. Oh my guys, it's not only the engines that are revving, but the wind is also roaring, possibly signaling all the jeopardy, all the tension, all the turmoil here. This is sink or swim. Good night, guys. In Ridawin, got us in the lead. Ridaw from Team Intaba is on the quad bike and he is determined to take on the course. And of course, Team Luate in hot pursuit. So both team members from Luate and Intaba are off. These are the second to go on the quad bikes. Let's see how they'll do. The quad bikes just went off for the moment and then Nina was at the back of Ridaw so she couldn't come past him. So that still kept us in the lead. It looks like both teams are struggling to go through in between the poles. It's a bit muddy, so it is extremely dangerous to get all those wheels through. And it looks like Lewate and Ntaba are struggling, guys. So it was the first time, but we had to go back to the poles to go to the But we had to go to work and to the poles to go to the Oh no, Nina takes down the flagpole. It just shows you how difficult it is to maneuver those quad bikes. And Radao makes it through the tunnel without a pummel. And over the seesaw obstacle. He is letting nothing stand in his way. And Nina went into the reed tunnel, but she didn't duck enough. Ouch! Nina hits the reed tunnel head on. Her helmet hit the, the, the stick so it went flying. And to hike when it on. But that does not seem to slow her down. Go Nina! Go, Ridao makes it back to the finish line. Now just to park that quad bike. No sweat. Nina from Team Luwate also makes it to the finish line. Now the third member of each team has to take on the segways once again. Zita from Team Intaba wastes no time. She's on the segway and off she goes. I did very surprisingly, actually very well. Go, 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 Chantal go, go. is the next member of Team Luwake to go on the Segway. It looks like Team Intaba is leading with the Segway. Zita is coming through and it looks like Intaba is going to be ahead for this one, guys. Team Intaba is in the lead, but this is Challenge SOS. Anything can happen. And Zita makes it to the finish line. Now just to park that Segway, not an easy thing to do. And here comes Chantel from the water who has closed the gap on Ndaba's lead. Both teams have their last member on the quad box. Oh my! Now it looks like they're going head to head where Ndaba was leading. Now it's the complete reverse. It looks like Nawati is in front, but this is challenge SOS. We never know what's going to happen. Dylan makes it under the reed bridge with ease. And so does Gianni. Go, 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 go! 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 Gianni is feeling the pressure and doesn't want to waste any time with precision driving over those obstacles. And Dylan from Team Luwate races to the finish line, but he still needs to park the quad bike before the race is done. So you never know, there still might be time for Gianni from Team Intaba to catch up. I was doing up okay till the last turn before we came to the finish line and reversed in. Oh no! Gianni drives right into the bushes. Does this mean their hopes of winning have come crashing down? I turned too much and went into the bushes. I think she just went a bit too much forward and she didn't turn it um, completely. And then she went into the bushes. Go, reverse! You're stuck. stuck. Couldn't get out and then when I got out, I couldn't reverse properly, so that kind of messed everything up. I can't want to catch in the trap! Press it up! Press it up! Press it up! Press it up! That's what actually, like, got us 
That bread has lasted. With the pressure lifted, Dylan leisurely parks the quad bike and so earns his team the victory. Your team, Lewati, that was a magnificent finish. I thought you guys were lagging behind. I turned my head and there you are. How does it feel? Awesome. Weren't you guys nerve wracked and a bit? Because it looked like you were falling behind, right? Okay, well, congratulations. Well done. Let's see how Tim and Tava's doing. It looks like the last member's about to come through. Gianni finally makes it out of the bushes. Aish. Tim and Tava finally made it. Gianni's just come through, but she still has to reverse the quad bike before this race is officially over for Ntaba. Oh dear, she may need some cheering up. Gianni, you look like you struggled a bit there. You're <laughs> going off into the bushes, but you managed. You came through, so congratulations. All right. Well done, you guys. If you thought that getting a K53 driver's license is hard, you haven't tried getting on these babies. It was very, very difficult, but you guys pulled through. I'm very, very proud of you. All right. So that was an awesome race, but we just have to let the tension linger a little bit longer before we find out the overall results for this heat. But for now, let's get out of here. Let's go have some hot chocolate. Awesome. Come on. This is Challenge SOS, where schools are battling it out for the awesome honor of becoming the unsinkable outdoor class of 2011. Today is the last of four challenges in this elimination heat between Team Lewatle from Monte Vista Primary School and Team Intava from Montague Primary School, both from Cape Town. Yes, it's called an elimination heat because the team with the least points out of a possible 400 in a heat will sink and has to leave the show. But the team with the most points will swim through to the semi-finals and be one step closer to that glorious title and its glorious reward. Today's challenge involved a race on quad bikes and segways and the teams clashed and crashed on what turned out to be a, a sort of an obstacle race in really windy conditions. But only one team made it first to the finish line and now we're on our way to hear the team's fate. We can't escape the fact that one team has to leave the show today. So guys, I can literally feel the tension for this final meeting. But I just want to let you know, regardless of the outcome for today, you all made efforts that are worthy of extreme praise. So guys, was this entire experience all it was revved up to be? Yes. You dudes have made your schools and your friends proud. But now it's time to see which team will swim to glory and which team will sink to defeat. This is the moment of truth. Entaba, Lawatle, which team will it be? Who will swim through to the semi-finals and who will sink and have to leave the show? Well, first off, guys, let's start with the obvious points. Those are the ones that the whole nation, your friends, your family and your teachers could see. First, you guys bravely braced the breadth and the depth of a deep dam on a raft built with some rickety reeds. And for that one, Team Lewatle earned a whopping obvious 40 points. How cool is that? Awesome. <laughs> All right, and then you guys had to face the mighty ocean on some surfing boards. And the team that finished that race first earned 100 obvious points. And that was you, Lewatle. Congratulations. Thanks. So just to sum up, that means that Team Lewate, you have 140 points so far and Team Ntaba, you're standing on zero points. But you guys, there are those mad secret points and they could swing things either way. Both teams were then judged on the safety of their rafts and Anton, who's nothing short of a superhero for us now, had this to say. We have decided that the 60 secret points for the safest, best constructed raft is Team Lewatle. That means that Team Lewatle, you're standing on 200 points and Team Ntaba, you're still on zero. Then you guys challenged each other in a high pressure cook-off and your efforts were worth 100 secret points which were awarded by our judges Rian and Brian who are the chefs here at TriActive. And those 100 secret points for the camp cook-off were awarded to Team Lewatle! Well done guys! That's awesome! That means you now stand on 300 overall points 
And unfortunately, in Taba, you're on zero. Today, you drove the adrenaline sky high, riding on those wild bikes. And the team that won that was Lewate. Yes! Yes, Lele! That means, Team Lewate, you're our overall winner for this heat with 400 out of a total of 400 points. How does it feel? Yes! <laughs> Alright, ek is baie trots op jylle, want jylle het so goed saamgewerk en in elke uitdaging het jylle seker gemaakt allemaal het best te doen. Dit was wonderlik vir my om te sien. So congratulations, I'm sure your schools are also proud. What was your secret? Well, we basically, we just helped each other if we needed help. We worked as a team and if someone needed motivation, we helped them. And yo, today we really didn't think we were going to win, but we pulled it off. Well, that's wonderful, guys. I can't wait to see you next week in our first ever semi-finals where you may be one step closer to getting that title of the unsinkable outdoor class of 2011. How cool is that? Awesome. <laughs> Team Intaba, you know what? Some of my best lessons in life have come from losses, so I hope you have learned a lot from this experience and that you have grown together as a team. I know that it's been a tough battle for you guys, but you did your best. How does it feel to have gone through this amazing, amazing experience? We experienced a lot, but we could have done better. Gianni, you had some tough, tough moments in this heat. So how does it feel now that it's all come to this end? Well, I'm happy with the fact that we learned a lot, but we could have done much better if we maybe worked together more and listened to each other. We would have probably done much better than we did. Guys, this is not farewell to Team Mintaba. You can still check them out on sostv.co.za where you can see their video dramas detailing their whole experience here on Challenge SOS. You can also connect to me and Paul or the teams on Facebook or Twitter. Enter into the portals of sostv.co.za and see how being outdoors can release the free spirit in you. Just gotta love it. Here on Challenge SOS, it's getting wetter and wilder. Next week, we will see Team Loatle who are swimming, sailing and singing all the way through to the semi-finals, battle it out against the other semi-finalists, Team Horror, where we will then see who is going to sink or swim through to the finals. This is Challenge SOS coming at you from a very windy bush somewhere. So check us next week where we will keep challenging our teams to enter the extreme scene. Keep it cool! Yeah.